one of the responsibilities that we have as security administrators is to implement a strong password policy. A strong password policy generally would have um, a, at least one digit to one special character, one uppercase, and a password mean password length, right? And the password length could be eight characters, 10 characters, 12 characters, or 16 characters, something like that, right? All these uh, properties of passwords make up your password policy. Now, what generally happens is whenever, you know, we are asked to create a user ID or reset a password for users, whether it is one user or multiple users, we generally tend to assign a password that we are used to, right? But over a period of time, it becomes easy for people to guess as security administrators uh, what password we would be assigning to people. Okay, it's not a difficult thing when uh, giving a uh, simple password becomes a habit. Okay, and a repeated password at that. So one of the features that SAP has in the user master record in SU01 or uh, SU10 is to generate a random password. Okay. So if I, let's say, for example, if I want to go and create a user, uh, one of the things that I could do is to use this generate password button to generate a random password. Okay, so when I click on that, what happens is it SAP system generates a random password of 40 characters long. Now, this is a long password to use for anybody, right, to type in or for us to copy paste. It's not easy to remember or, you know, it's long, okay? Now, what if, you know, if you're going doing this for one user ID, that's okay. And, you know, you can come here, copy paste and send it to the users. Now, if you have multiple users for which you have to do it, or large volume of users for which you have, that you have to cre either create or reset the password for, if you use SU01, it becomes, you know, a tedious process for copying uh, the password, generating the password and sending it to them. Other option you have, other than, uh, you know, using a generic uh, common, you know, repeat, uh, a used password that you keep, you know, repeating, using all the time. The other option you have is to come up with the random password yourself, okay, depending on what your password policy is, um, and depending on what your system password parameters are set for. So with a minimum length and that kind of thing. Okay. Now, the random password generator here is not dependent on your password parameters. That, you know, password uh, profile parameters, basically. Okay. So if your password profile parameter say, let's say, well, what we have in the system. Okay, so if you go to RS Param program, mm, okay, and execute it. and say executed, and if you look at the value, uh, and log in, and just search for this, okay? And then search for minimum password length. Okay, so minimum password length for us, user defined is eight, minimum eight characters. So as you see, you know, uh, system default is 10, okay? but if you see the when you generate a password, the password is generated with 40 characters. Okay, so what it means is this random password generator here is not dependent on your uh, system uh, system profile parameters for passwords. Okay, now you can do this for one or one user, two users. Okay, because it's not a tedious uh, thing to do. All you have to do is generate the password and call, 
copy the password and email it to the user. What if you have to do this for multiple users? And you know, okay, at one shot. So the other option you have to work with mass users is SU10, right? Even SU10 has an option to change passwords for that matter. And you can create user IDs also. So when you create a user ID with SU10, you know, and you know, it will generate a password on its own. So let's go and create uh, a password, a user ID. Let's say test user one, or that exists. So let's go and create, remove this. Okay, so let's say Z test user one. Okay, and I'm going to say Z test user two, Z test user three. Okay, let's say we are going to create three user IDs. Okay, so when you click on this create icon and you save, let's say the system generates a 40 character password for the users. Okay, again, it's a 40 character slow. Now it's a it's a long character, right? So how do we control, you know, how do we know if, you know, system gives you, SAP gives you a parameter or something to reduce this, you know, length of the character, so length of the password to a smaller uh, length. Okay, instead of using, let's say, instead of using 40 characters in the random password generator tool, can we make, uh, the system should generate, let's say, a 12 character password or a 16 character password. Okay. Now, one of the features that SAP gives you, you know, it makes it you know, possible for you to do that. Okay. That is, so instead of uh, having the system generate a 40 character password, you can have it generate a sm smaller length uh, password for you. So, to in order to do that, you go to the table or view PRGN uh, cust, PRGN underscore cust, and maintain the table to generate a smaller length random password. You use the parameter gen underscore max, PSW underscore max underscore length. Okay. Now this series of parameters, there is four parameters in the series, okay? One for digits, length, letters, and special characters. Now, we are going to use only length in our uh, demo here, okay? Because we want, the idea is to see if using this, uh, with this parameter, whether the pa random password generated password is reduced to so whatever number, smaller number that we give here. So let's say I want to generate a password with, let's say 16 characters. Instead of 40, I want to generate the password for 16 characters. So I enter, uh, use this parameter gen underscore PSW underscore max underscore length and specify the, the password length here. Okay, now remember this is not dependent on your profile parameter minimum this parameter, okay? So let's see, save it. Because this is a transportable configuration, you will be prompted to put this change in a transport request. Okay, now let's go and try this out. So first what we'll do, we'll use SU01 to try this out. And then let's say I want to create a user. And then I go here and set generate password now. So the minimum password of the password length that we gave maximum was 16 characters, right? Now, let's see whether this is a 16 characters. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So you saw that with that parameter that we set, which was 
we'll go back to that. So the, that parameter that we set, the length of the password, the random password is now reduced to 16 because that's the value we gave. Okay, if we put 12 there, this password will be 12. Now let's try this out with, uh, let's say, SU10, for example. Okay, now one, so the, let's say we create the same user IDs again. Try to, let's say, I created those user IDs already, right? So let's go and um, change the password, for example, right? For these users. See if this time the password is changed with 12 characters or 16 characters, sorry, that we gave. Okay, click on change and generate this password here. The password is generated, click on apply. And if you see here, the password, random password generator has now reduced from 40 characters to 16 characters. And this is controlled by the entry in the table PRGN underscore cast. Okay, this entry. Gen underscore PSW underscore max underscore length. So we gave 16 characters. So from this point on, Whenever we use the random password generator, it will generate a 16 character long password. Now you could make it 10 also if you want, you know, to meet, match your uh, whatever minimum length that you have given in the profile parameters. You can do that also. But like you saw in here, you know, we have the minimum password length as eight user-defined value, but we gave 16 and it will, you know, the password will work. So let's say I'm going to, let's go and try this out, okay, as a demo. I'm going to go to SU01 and create a user ID, right? And then let's say generate a password and I use this. I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to use this password to log in. So SP test 10 is the user ID. I'm going to save this. And I'm log in here. I'm going to enter the password and it works, okay? So using this parameter, um, gen underscore PSW underscore in PRGN cost types with this parameter, you can reduce the number of characters uh, for the randomly generated password. Okay.